What is going on YouTube? I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I hope that this video makes it just a little bit more entertaining. Um, if you guys would be so kind to go down in the description below and check out my Twitter and Twitch, it would be greatly appreciated. It helps you guys keep up with all my recent content and also if I have any giveaways going on. Alright guys, so t in today's video we're bringing back a series that I tried to start called Final Four and it's basically like a top 5 list but everybody does top 5s or top 10s so I just decided to do a Final Four list just to be a little bit unique or make myself feel more unique than the 10,000 YouTubers that do gaming. So, today's video will be 4 reasons Call of Duty World War 2 is bad. Guys, and this game was so big, everybody loved it, and of course there probably will be um, other things that I'll add in that will bug me, but there's four main things, and I think y'all will agree, and if you don't, of course, comment down below if I missed anything or if you guys disagree. Coming in at number four are the nades. I think everybody can agree the nades are terrible. Now, a lot of people might be wondering, why is this only number four? Well, I will explain, and the other three are pretty bad. But guys, nades in this game are, on most boots on ground games, are really hard because, you know, on jetpacking you could boost away, you could jump up in the air, different things like that. Boots on ground, it's a lot harder to get away. And I just feel like the nades are stronger in boots on ground. Um, they're definitely not as bad as um, MWR, but they're pretty, they're pretty bad on this game. Especially when your teammate throws a nade and you're next to it. Even in pubs, it does damage. It, like, stuns you a little bit. It's really stupid, and it's really frustrating. But, yeah, guys, number four is nades. Number two are there are no perks. So, see, number four would probably not even be on the list if it weren't for number three in the perks. See, people could run blast shield. Well, the problem is in competitive, you really only get two quote unquote wild cards, okay? You have divisions. So, you can run Mountaineer. When you're playing SD, you want to have silent footsteps, okay? That's a must. But then you can either have Primed or the thing that's like Blast Shield. And the flinch in the game is pretty bad, so you kind of have to run Prime, but then that leaves you open to nades. Or you can run anti nades, and then you'll get, sh when you get shot, your gun flies straight up in the fucking air. So it's extremely frustrating. Now, one thing that you can do is run armor and run inconspicuous to help quiet your footsteps, but then you're kind of slow and you can't run infantry or um, airborne, which makes you get to places faster. But guys, if you want to see a best com best competitive class video, um, comment that down below, and I can get that to you guys hopefully at some point this weekend. But guys, that's like really frustrating for me is the new divisions because there's so many trade-offs, and because it's a boots on ground game with the nades, I feel like you have to have some anti-nade type thing. And they don't have trophy systems either because, you know, it's World War II and they didn't have that stuff. But yeah, guys, number three. Number three is pretty bad. Now for number two, guys. Number two, I've seen a lot of people complaining on Twitter. Um, in fact, a lot of people have just said World War II is terrible for competitive just because of one gun, the bar. Now, uh, supposedly they nerfed it to make it less like a submachine gun, but in all honesty, Dude. people still use it. People use it a lot. Um, I noticed in the beginning of the game, a lot of people used bar and MP40. Uh, that's kind of gone away. It's mostly just bar and PPSH now. And rarely you will see an STG44, guys, but the bar is just stupid. And it's inconsistent too. So when other people use it, I get three shotted. When I use it, I get I have to get four. And that's a huge problem because I've quit shooting and gotten turned on like five different times. And it, it's just frustrating. It's inconsistent and it's just OP up close. Like they said they um they nerfed the the uh, hip fire so the the spread would be bigger. Again, nobody really noticed a difference. Um, but the good news is um, I hear that they're going to do a another nerf to it. I'm not sure what they're going to nerf, but pe too many people are complaining. Like, they have to either either nerf that or buff the submachine guns in order so people stop using the bar, guys. But tons of people are just complaining. And it's kind of breaking the game to the point where a lot of people don't like playing it because it's just bar, bar, bar. Everybody's using the bar because it's simply too overpowered. All right, guys, now number one. And see, here's the thing. You can avoid all of that stuff if you can't even get in the game, guys. So, of course, number one is going to be the servers. Yes, Sledgehammer promised us this, the game would be ready. No, no, it wasn't. 
The servers, when it first let out at midnight, the servers apparently crashed. I didn't get it at midnight. I got it the a couple hours after, but I got it opening day where the, when thankfully the servers were fixed. But it was so frustrating because now the game battle servers are down. And it's, it's World War II has just been, I think they didn't expect so many people to use it or buy it or something because they completely dropped the balls with the servers. The servers were very um, just up and down the first week. And now the game battle servers are absolute shit. It will take you 10 minutes to just find a dedicated server. Someone said, oh, they're fixing it slowly. I've noticed no difference. I've played the past three days and I've gotten three disputes because people don't want to play custom games. I don't want to play custom games. Host is stupid. So people will go and dispute it and then it'll just get canceled. So it's a waste of my time. Um, Sledgehammer, fix your shit. Okay, that's like, it's, it's very, it's very frustrating because all these comp players are pissed. And so then, so they fixed the pub servers. You know, that's great. Public matches is, are running well. GB servers is a problem. Alright guys, and the last thing doesn't really have to do with the servers, but it's an honorable mention, ranked play, okay? I don't know why they didn't have ranked play at the release. Like, I want to play ranked play. I, I don't like playing game battles, getting used to a boots on ground game. Pubs is too easy, okay? I want to be able to play some people with a little bit more skill in pubs. So ranked play is the perfect op option, but problem is I have to wait a full month in order to play it. And I want to play Variant, I want to play 4v4, I want to um, build my rank up on ranked play. But sadly, that was not an option until December 1st. So guys, that's probably going to be a lot of my channel is ranked play. I want to try to get top 100, which I think will be difficult, but I think that we'll eventually get used to and we'll be able to push it, guys. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, leave a like below, um, comment what you want to see next, and go check out the links in the description. And if you guys have any other suggestions, for um, something that I missed on this list, just comment it down below and I will comment um, or I will reply back to your comments. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to turn on notifications and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.